imagine, if you will. You open the morning paper and read the headline, an end to confusion over language. Tower of Babel will be completed. Now that would be news indeed. Big news. Since the completion of a construction project by people who don't understand each other because they don't speak each other's language is simply not possible. But communicating and building in one comprehensible language is possible. With BIM. BIM stands for Build Information Model. BIM is for everyone in the construction industry. In fact, you won't be able to escape it. BIMing is not a new idea, it's simply a fact and will only become more important in the future. But what actually is BIM? BIM is a way of working together. It's a methodology for the integral design, construction and maintenance of a project with all partners. This is done by a mutual exchange of data, resulting in a complete digital description of a building project. From this description, a digital model is made, built up from a standardized object library. What is this? It's a dictionary of definitions of all items. For example, what exactly do we mean by a door? Their functions, what are the properties of a door? And their performance, what must a door be able to do? New objects can easily be added. You can use BIM with a bridge, a road, a tunnel, or a complete infrastructure, also with a building or a complex of buildings. BIM is available for the entire life cycle of a construction project, from design through construction, management, maintenance, even to demolition. Who works with BIM? With BIM, each individual party makes their own contribution to the virtual structure. The architect, the contractor, the builder, the consultant, the installer, the glazier, everyone. This works well as long as all components satisfy everything agreed upon in the object library. Only then is there one language understood by everyone. You can study the project and see the library components before construction begins. Information about construction, maintenance, costs and safety all comes from the same source, BIM. But not everyone needs all the information. So, BIM also contains an agreement about who can look at what and who is allowed to input to which sections. Why BIM? BIM exists to enhance the performance of a construction project or network infrastructure. This is possible because the information is standardized and available for the entire life cycle of the structure. With BIM, you get better cooperation and decisions are easier to make. But do people working with BIM need to use a new software package? The answer is no. Everyone can carry on working with the system they prefer. But that system must be able to exchange information based on an open standard. You just need a new piece of free software to enable you to input your data to BIM. One open standard for all. BIM delivers many advantages. Fewer transaction costs, fewer failure costs due to error and higher quality. How is this possible? Well, for example, because information is standardized, the cost of getting quotes and making deals is greatly reduced. Data is input just once, but reused many times. It is no longer possible to think that an apple is a pear, and that saves time, confusion, and money. In addition, far fewer mistakes are made. Before a shovel even hits the ground, BIM shows you where things can go wrong, which is obviously better than discovering something during the project. Currently, putting mistakes right costs 6 billion euros per year. With BIM, this amount is rapidly and greatly reduced. That's a profit for all partners and good for the image of the industry. Virtual construction also enhances quality, not just within a specific building or infrastructure project, but also within the entire environment. You can establish relationships between a building and its functions, the roads around it, and its performance. The possibility of creating a more sustainable environment is brought considerably closer. Building with BIM is above all smart. BIM works if everyone participates. For this reason, it will in the future be a requirement of contracting authorities that information be exchanged according to open standards administered by and for the industry, both national and international. 
so everyone will participate and everyone will work together. With BIM, aspects and elements are connected to everything – design, price, timetable and the effect on maintenance. An example? Say a contractor decides to move all dividing walls in a virtual construction by one meter. Not only he, but also the installer, the planner and the financial team can immediately see the effect of this change. So BIM is a new way of working together by speaking one language. It's only imagery, but with BIM, perhaps the confusion over language surrounding the construction of the Tower of Babel wouldn't have existed. In any case, it is a fact that with BIM, the sky really is the limit.